It is Saturday. I'm just waiting on my bo my buddy uh, Miko. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, we're going to Anza Barriga Springs Park. It's deep in the desert. It's about two hours away from here. Um, we're gonna be shooting the Milky Way. We're gonna be doing some night light stuff. Um, so pretty cool stuff. Like gonna be like 30 people there. Um, and I know we're expecting a big turnout. So hopefully it's a fun time. I'm just waiting for this dude. Um, I think he's bringing another guy on named Mike or Michael, but I'm just waiting on him. He just rented a Jeep out for the day. Wait, but we'll be doing a bunch of like cool night photography things. I have the, tw the 16 to 55 um, lens on here, travel zoom. Zoom in, zoom out. I have it on here. So let me know what you guys think about the, uh, about the quality, the sharpness. Also, let me know what you guys think about the, um, the stability, because I know this lens doesn't have um, OIS in it, optical image stabilization, but the camera has IBIS in it. It kind of stabilizes it out um, for when I'm hand holding this thing and vlogging. But yeah, just wait for him to get here with the Jeep so we can be on our way. Guys, I did not get a chance to vlog when we went to Anza Barriga Springs um, Desert Park because it actually ended up, he ended up picking me up at like six o'clock <clears throat> p.m. So it got kind of late <clears throat> and it got too dark. So I wasn't able to film, but we took some really cool pictures of the Milky Way and everything. So if you go on my Instagram, you can see, you can check it out. I got a couple pictures. And also if you have the new, well, it's not really a new app because it came out a few years ago, but it's called Vero. Um, if you have one of those, follow me on there. Um, I just started posting a lot of different kind of pictures on there. So go follow me on Vero, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. But right now, I can't really say it too loud, but I'm about to bring Roscoe to the beach. And these dogs, if they hear that word, they'll go crazy. It was basically, we're getting a heat wave. I'm using the mic today, and I'm also hand-holding my camera. I don't, have the, I don't have the Gorilla Pod on, so it might be a little shaky. Just let me know what you think about the camera quality and the uh, stabilization. So let's uh, get this guy on the road. Good boy. <laughs> Winston. Get him, Osco. Get him, Osco. Get him, Osco. Get him, Osco. Look at it, it's like a little Winston. Get him, Osco. Get him, Osco. Hey! Look at him. Let's go. Get it, buddy. I'm not getting sand on my lens or on my camera. This is Huntington Beach. Ross was having a fun time. So there was this, that, you seen that little uh, Labrador, little puppy dog. He was trying to play with him. He kind of reminds him, probably reminds him of Winston. He's always, he's always like afraid of puppies or intimidated by puppies and wants to play with him and fight him. Get it! I remember when we first got Marley, he was scared of her, and then he like warmed up to her. Good boy. Good boy. I don't know if I ever vlogged here at, at, at uh, Huntington Beach, but there's the pier way down there. Here a do here's a dog, he looks the other way and tries to find him, look at him. Good boy. 
get it. I just don't, I don't want him to hurt his leg. I don't want to work him too much because every time, well not every time, but a few times we brought him to the, brought him to the beach. This dog has tore, he tore both, both of his ACLs or whatever, his knees. Um, he healed He healed by himself. We didn't need to get surgery or anything. He stepped on a shell and he had to get stitches in his paw. He's got, he's, one time he ate a swallowed a whole potato. He uh, got dehydrated and he, we had to put pump uh, water in the back of his, like, right here. Had two water tubes or water, whatever they're called. Uh, looked like he had boobs on the back of his, on his back. What else? He had, um, they thought it was can he thought he had cancer, but it was actually inflammation that was in his stomach blocking his, uh, in his intestines blocking him from going to the bathroom. He would have died. He got open, open stomach surgery for like, I don't know how many hours it took, but, and he's still doing really good. He's 10 years old. Right here, buddy. Right here. I think he's getting like cataracts or something. He's 10 years old. He's still playing and running around. Still having fun. He's like, he's a miracle dog. We call him super dog.